Welcome to Crabla Presents Submit Editions. And today we are going to talk about one of the favorite festivals of holidays among the Chinese. And yes, today we are going to talk about Mid Autumn Festival. And Mid Autumn Festival has another two names. One of them is Mooncake Festival and Lantern Festivals. Because during this time, kids will be playing lantern in their neighborhood and adults will be eating mooncake, sipping fresh Chinese teas, and also enjoying the full moon. If you're thinking about buying a mooncake this year, my recommendation will be a White Lotus Single Yolk Mooncake paired with cool or Chinese tea. That's the best combinations for this festive season. Generally, this festival is celebrated in Chinese culture. But uh, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and also other countries in East and Southeast Asia also celebrated the similar festivals. Japanese celebrated Tsukimi, Korean celebrated Chu Seok, Vietnam celebrated Tachung Chu. Mid Autumn Festival will be celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th month of Chinese lunar calendar because the moon is believed to be at its brightest and the fullest. And in 2023, the Mid Autumn Festival falls on 29th September. So get your lantern and mooncake ready. Let's celebrate together. The Mid Autumn Festival can be traced back over 3,000 years ago. And there's a lot of legends and stories associated with these festivals. But one of the famous ones and also the, in, the most interesting one is about the moon goddess Chang'e. Chang'e is the moon goddess, the carol of the moon. She was married to Ho Yi, a total hero who shot down nine of the ten sun that was scorching the earth. Now, Ho Yi was given this magical elixir of immortality by a goddess, but he was all about that eternal love with Chang'e, so he stashed it away at home. Trouble came knocking when a sneaky apprentice tried to swipe the elixir. Quick thinking Chang'e, down it to prevent the theft, and boom, she flew up to the moon and became immortal. Hu Yi was absolutely heartbroken, and to this day, he still misses the wife terribly. So he started offering sacrifice and putting out all the moon goddess' favorite snacks under the moon. That's where the whole moon worship and mooncake eating tradition began. Rabbit is also one of the icons when we celebrate Mid-Autumn Festival. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there were three animals living in a forest. A fox, a rabbit, and a monkey. They were all good friends, and they loved to play together. One day, the Emperor of Heaven wanted to test the animal virtues. So he came to Earth and changed his appearance to an old man. The old man walked into the forest and came across the three animals. He said, I am a traveler from a faraway land. I am very hungry. Can you help me? The three animals were happy to help. The fox went to catch a fish in a river. The monkey went to pick some fruits in the forest. And the rabbit went to gather some firewood to cook a meal. The fox and the monkey returned quickly with their food. But the rabbit was gone for a long time. The old man was starting to get worried. Finally, the rabbit returned. She was carrying a big pile of firewood. She said, I'm sorry that I took so long. I couldn't find any food. So I went to gather some firewood so that I could cook you a meal. The old man was touched by the rabbit kindness. He said, You are very kind and thoughtful creatures. I'm so impressed by your virtue. I would like to reward you. The old man then revealed his true identity. He was the emperor of heaven and said, to honor your kindness, I will let you live in the moon palace forever. You will be known as the Jade Rabbit, and people will see you in the moon every night. Since then, Chang'e and the Jade Rabbit often seen as the icon uh, upon the celebrations of Mid-Autumn Festivals. But that's another story. We're going to wait until next year. Nowadays, Mid-Autumn Festival is still regarded as a big celebration among the Chinese cultures, uh, especially in these few countries, mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia. And Chinese folks celebrated it 
uh, to give thanks for the harvest and also to pray for good old fashions, good fortunes. But in this modern era, it's also a good time and good reason to have a family reunion. People travel from far and wide together with their relative to indulge a lavish feast. Friends and family normally have this feast uh, in their balconies or in the outdoor. They have some good old-fashioned moon gazing, lighting candles, lighting lanterns, setting of fireworks, playing games, and exchanging gifts. Speaking of this, the few delicacies will be associated with mid-autumn festival. The first one is pomelo, duck, buffalo nuts, yum, crab, lotus fruit, pear, and also rice wine. If you ever find yourself under the bright moonlight of this mid-autumn festivals, grab a mooncake, make a wish, enjoy the magic of the mid-autumn festivals. And to all my Chinese friends, Happy Mid-Autumn Festival. So that's the end of the Mid-Autumn Festival episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, if you like this topic, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a like. I'm going to see you again next week. Bye-bye.